How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to show you guys the best exercises to lose arm jiggle. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you guys have any questions for me at all, simply comment in the comment section. I will make a video for you guys. Um, so let's get started. What causes arm jiggle? Arm jiggle is caused because your arms are fat. It's as simple as that. And um, what, what can cause arm jiggle too is as you age, the natural elasticity in your skin eventually starts to get worse and worse and worse. That's why you, you usually see older people, their skin is very stretchy, very loose. So how can we fix that? Even for the old people out there, even for the old people that want to get their arms tighter, they want to get rid of all that extra that arm jiggle, how do you do it? How do you do it? The simplest and most effective and optimal way is simply going to be adding muscle. That's right, adding muscle. Now, a common myth that people think is that if you add muscle for girls, you're gonna get jacked, you're gonna look super big, you're gonna look like you're gonna look like you got my arms, and nobody wants that if you're a girl. Wrong. If you're a girl, you have estrogen, you do not have testosterone. It's naturally impossible that you get that big. All it's gonna do is it's gonna add a little bit of muscle, it's gonna make your arm a little bit tighter, it's gonna get rid of the loose skin. So for girls, adding muscle is the best option. Guys, I know you guys, you wanna get muscle, so there's no issue there. So how are we gonna do that? In order to develop muscle tissue, we need to know the muscles being worked, also known as the skeletal muscles. Muscle is composed of thread-like myofibrillas and sacromeres that form a muscle fiber, you guys. The 650 skeletal muscles in the human body contract when they receive signals from motor neurons. This happens in the cell, also called scaroplasmic reticulum, you guys. So the top three training factors for muscle growth are gonna be mechanical tension, you guys. Now, you don't need to lift super heavy weights to maximize tension, you need to stress the muscle just enough to create create an overload. Again, you do not need to lift super heavy weights, you just need constant tension. That's the major thing, mechanical tension, you guys. That's why a lot of time you will see pro bodybuilders when they bench press, instead of coming all the way to the top, they'll come all the way down, then near the top, they'll kind of stop about right here and redo it. They'll do three quarter reps. The reason for that is they're keeping constant tension. If you fully lock out a bench press, you see your triceps contract, and then if you're touching your chest at the same time, you will feel that your chest loses tension. You don't wanna lose tension when you're bodybuilding, you wanna keep constant tension. This allows, again, for uh, you to build muscle. So again, mechanical tension, number one. Number two, muscle damage. Pushing yourself to failure or beyond every once in a while can actually reap the benefits of muscle gain. But I really, really strongly recommend that you do not push it to failure every single time. This increases your risk of getting injured. If you're injured, you can't be training. So keep it safe and never go to failure in my opinion. There are a few times that I will go a couple times to failure, but that's just to overload the muscle, give it a little shock of the system. But majority of the time, keep it, two, keep it one or two reps before failure. Third thing for building muscle is going to be mechanical, or sorry, metabolical stress. When you're trying to chase the pump in the gym, your body produces metabolic waste products such as lactate and hydrogen ions that lead to cell swelling, which is needed for muscle growth. That's why adding intensifiers like drop sets and rest pause sets can be beneficial for hypertrophy, you guys. So, Muscle hypertrophy takes time and is relatively slow for the majority of people. Also, protein synthesis must exceed muscle protein breakdown. So again, muscle protein synthesis must exceed muscle protein breakdown. Okay, arm jiggle is mainly caused by lack of tricep muscles, you guys. We need to target our triceps. So here are some exercises you can do at home that I highly recommend doing. Again, four minutes of this video has been me talking. I know you guys wanna see the exercises, but sometimes it's good to kind of understand how the muscles work, the, the skeletal systems, understanding anatomy, biology, stuff like that. It's very good to understand this. It creates that mind-muscle tension and it's gonna allow you guys to continue on researching things, um, researching uh, muscle, researching exercises, and. All in all, it's just gonna help you guys out more. So that's why I kind of ramble on at the start of the video. I will show you guys the exercises now. So the first one that we're going to do, and um, this is gonna be dependent on your experience level. So if you are, uh, ex if you're a beginner, let's say you are a beginner in the gym, you don't really have any experience at all, then I recommend doing this exercise on your knees. 
So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a knee diamond push up. And again, if you're a little more advanced, you don't need to do it on your knees, then you don't, then you just do them on your toes. I will show you guys how to do both. So the diamond push up is very easy. All you do is you make a W with your arms, that's it, or with your hands. And then what you're going to do, sorry, get into the knee position. And all we're going to do now is do some push ups. Very easy, very effective. You can feel your triceps working. I love this exercise. I'll show you guys from the side again. Make a W with your hands, go on your knees, and simply do your push ups. And you can see my triceps, they're contracting and they work really good. Uh, one tip I will recommend, depending on your arm length, we all have different anatomies. Everyone has either longer arms, shorter arms. It's all going to depend. If you have longer arms, maybe put your hands a little bit wider. Again, work on your body. It's your body. So play around with the different hand angles or the hand positions, I should say. So what I like to do, I don't like to go right close. I like to go just a little bit farther. In my opinion, that allows my elbow joint to be a little healthier. It allows me a little more room and I feel that works my triceps a little bit better than going touching. But again, the proper way to do the diamond push up is to have your hands touching you guys. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're a little more advanced, have go on your toes, don't go on your knees. So I'm a little more advanced, you guys. I'll go on my toes and then I will do them like so. Again, amazing exercise, phenomenal. It's really gonna work your tricep, you guys. Again, it works the lateral head of your tricep, which is this tricep, but it will also work the other. Because again, when you do, when you do one exercise, you're contracting all of your triceps, but we can put a little more emphasis on the lateral head. Okay, the next exercise that we're going to be performing is going to be for the long head. So this big meaty part, this is the biggest muscle group. We want to hit it with some heavy weight. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab my bench over here, you guys, and we're going to do some tricep dips. I love dips. Dips are one of my favorite exercises to do. Now you want to do them from an elevated surface. So I have a bench here. You guys can use anything as long as it's an elevated surface a bed works really good a coach works really good an ottoman a footrest anything here's the thing when you're doing the dips depending on your positioning of your arms is going to be dependent on how you hit the muscles what i mean by this if you're if you have your arms vertical you're going to put a lot more stress on your triceps than if you were a little more bent over that's going to put more emphasis on your chest so what i like to do i like to keep my arms straight in the air that's going to put a lot more emphasis on my triceps and again you can feel your triceps working phenomenal exercise but again if i want to lean more over i'll lean a little bit over more and i'll hit my chest if i want to do that so again dips Dips will always be a fan favorite of mine. I always recommend dips just because uh, dips for me have really allowed me to work my triceps. I don't know about you guys, but my triceps really lack. Um, if you guys look, my biceps usually overpower my triceps. Dips have allowed me to actually build my triceps to pretty reasonable size, you guys. So the next exercise is going to be a crab walk. Crab walks are fantastic. Really good for beginners. All you're gonna do is get on your hands and knees and simply walk like you're a crab. Whew. Again, I'm just showing you guys to keep it inside the video, but you do this for a long period of time, a minute or so, you will notice your triceps will be very pumped up, they'll be hurting and you guys will love it. The next exercise, probably one that you guys really don't know of, but that's gonna be an L sit. So all you're, go you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on the ground and you're gonna get your hands like so, you're gonna put them to the side and all you're going to do 
is just simply lift up and hold that position, you guys. So again, it's, it might be a little bit hard for you guys to see. <clears throat> but all we're going to do, and again, I apologize for the hand positioning. I did hurt my hand a little bit. Um, personal reasons why I hurt. I didn't do anything wrong. I just, I kind of jammed it a little bit, you guys, while I was working out. So my hand is a little bit touchy today. That's why you notice when I'm performing some of the exercises, they don't seem as okay. So the L sit, all you're going to do is get into a position like this and simply lift your butt off the ground and hold that position for as long as possible. This is a fantastic exercise. And if you do not have access to anything at home to do your dips, perfect exercise, simply sit on your butt. If you want to overload, get a 10 pound plate, set it on your uh, leg area and hold that position. You will work the long head of your tricep like no tomorrow. This is a static movement, which means you're not actually contracting your muscles. Again, you're just holding the static position and it will allow you guys to get decent triceps. Trust me on this. So in the video, you guys, you can even tell I'm a little out of breath from just talking, but uh, great workout. Uh, that's what I recommend to get rid of that nasty arm jiggle. It will work. It takes consistency. You got to do it for two, three, four weeks, five, six, seven, eight weeks. You guys, you got to take some time, make it a lifestyle change. Be consistent. You'll get it. Trust me. If you guys have any questions at all, comment below. I will answer them in video format if you guys want me to. If not, just let me know. I won't answer them. But what I like to do is I like to get questions now from people that ask me in the comment section. I will make videos just for them. So end the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share it. Thanks.